Candy. My name is Bella. I'm five years old. I'm in level two. I'm a gymnast. I hope you feel better. I'm going to do a cartwheel. My niece Mackenzie was born in Rochester, New York on September 17, 1989. She was a beautiful, young, healthy girl growing up on a farm with her mother and father and two brothers. In early March of 2011, Mackenzie found a mass in her right breast. A tissue biopsy was done the next day, and on March 8, 2011, when she was just 21 years old and studying landscape architecture at Syracuse University, she was diagnosed with right infiltrating ductal breast cancer also known as Invasive Ductal Cancer, or IDC. She had been planning to study abroad in New Zealand for a semester, but that would have to be canceled. Her life was about to change just three years after her high school graduation. Hi, Kenzie. My name is Judah. I'm eight years old. I'm in second grade, and I'm a level two gymnast. And I will be doing a round off in three back handsprings, and I hope you feel better soon. Hi Kenzie, I'm Emma, I'm a level 9 gymnast and I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm going to show you a blind veil. I hope you get better soon. Young women don't think about cancer of any sort, let alone breast cancer. We are not taught self-examination, but we might be self-conscious about raising complaints about how our breasts feel and how they look different. Doctors normally do not do breast examinations of young women. Hi Kenzie, my name is Lillian and I'm six. I'm a level two and I'm going to show you my back handspring. I hope you get better. Hi Kenzie, my name is Riley. I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm an Exile Platinum gymnast and I want to show you my suit. I hope you get better. Hi Kenzie, my name's Olivia. I'm a level two gymnast and I'm gonna show you how I jump to the high bar. Hope you get well soon. We are not taught about environmental factors that contribute to cancers. We are unaware of endocrine disruptors that mimic estrogen and contribute to cancer development and progression. We need to educate ourselves and advocate for ourselves about carcinogens in our environment. Young women are surrounded by ads and social pressures to use products on their skin and hair that are toxic. Makeups, dyes, and relaxers, products for everything. We are encouraged to sunbathe and go to tanning salons. God forbid we have any pimples. Kenzie was raised by a mom who pushed organic products, but she assumed this was not for a teenager to worry about. For the most part, she ate organic foods, but was unaware of the thousands of chemicals in household products like pesticides, herbicides, and fire retardants that she was exposed to every day. We can't avoid them all, but we should be aware of their existence. They are still learning about what causes breast cancer, but it is fairly clear that it is both genetic changes and environmental exposures that contribute to development and progression. The following is a quote from Kenzie's website, kenziesreveries.com. I am constantly working to put life into perspective. At battle with cancer since 2011, terminal since 2016, I've spent a large part of my life learning to live fully with the awareness that I won't be here for long. I've developed a deep appreciation for death and an unquenchable thirst for life. I strive to allow difficult times to inspire creativity. This has been the motivation and inspiration for much of my work. My education and professional background is in landscape architecture, so my art tends to have an affinity towards plants and the natural environment. But I love the human form, particularly the feminine. I have been enjoying exploring the world of illustration through pen and marker. I love oils and acrylics and find I often opt for these in larger commissions. If you are looking to commission a painting, please email me at kenziesreveries at gmail.com or visit the contact page. All purchases directly support me while living with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer. 
Each drawing and painting is made with tremendous gratitude. All my love, Tens. Hi, Kenzie. I'm Kylie. I'm in level three, and I want to show you a round off double back handspring. I hope you get well soon. Hi, Kenzie. I'm Bailey. I'm 14 years old, and I'm a freshman in high school and a level eight gymnast. I'm going to show you my one and a half punch front. I hope you feel better. Hi Kenzie. I'm Adeline. I'm a level 5 gymnast and I'm in 7th grade and today I would like to show you my right off back hand swing back tuck. I hope you feel better. Hi Kenzie. My name is Julia. I'm 15 years old and I go to Fairfield Ludlow High School. I'm going to show you my souk on vault. Hope you get better soon. We are pushed into birth control options that may not be the best thing for our health, particularly on a long-term basis. Most involve manipulating hormone levels. We are not told about the risks associated with these choices. And since many of us start these medications when we are under 18, we may have even less input with the doctor. Some of us are getting breast implants or enhancements for non-medical reasons. This can cause serious trauma to the breast tissue and long-term effects. Hi Kenzie, I'm Chris. I am a level 10 trampoline and power tumbler from Connecticut and I am a junior at Sacred Heart and I just wanted to say I hope you feel so much better. I know this must be really hard for you and I know that I think it's important for everyone to understand that this is a big thing to deal with especially not just for, wo for women but for men also. So that being said I hope that someone can take something away from this and I really hope that you get better soon. Hi Kenzie, I'm Piper and I'm XL Platinum for your GCA, 15 and I'm a sophomore. And today I showed you my switch leap on the beam. Um, I really hope that especially young girls are listening to the message of this video because it's really important. And Kenzie, I hope you get well soon. We are not educated on alternative methods of treatment to solve our problems. Good healthy diets and exercise are probably the best medicine available for many illnesses. Running has sustained Kenzie throughout her treatment process. It may not cure her cancer, but recent literature documents exercise has beneficial effect throughout the process, not only in enhancing your immune system, but in multiple systemic ways. Too many people, not just young people, just want the doctor to give them a pill to make their problem go away. Hi Kenzie, I'm Caroline. I'm a level 9 gymnast. I'm a junior in high school, so I'm 16, and I'm going to be showing you my overshoot, and I hope you feel better. Many medications have side effects that affect your health long term. Most cancer therapies have very serious, even life-threatening side effects. Kenzie has taken cytotoxins shown to produce alternative cancers such as sarcomas later in life. Tamoxifen comes with a risk of ovarian cancer. Perceptin is shown to be cardiotoxic. It becomes a balance of benefits versus risks. You cannot make these important decisions without clearly understanding both the risks and the benefits. You do not wish to take risks if there is a safer and less toxic alternative available. Hi Kenzie. Hi, I'm Lila. I'm Esme. We're juniors on the Lobo Gymnastics team. And we just want to wish you the best of luck and we hope you feel better soon. GCA is rooting for you. You got this. Hi Kenzie. My name is Lucy. I'm seven years old. I'm a level two. I hope you feel better. And I want to show you my squadron on the bar. Sometimes there may be better alternatives available for your personal health, but insurance will not cover the costs. Kenzie had many tests and procedures done that were new and considered experimental. There are many costs that were not covered by her insurance. She resorted to fundraisers to help her meet these expenses. It is so important to understand that money should not be a controlling factor in medical care, and it's amazing how this problem can be solved if you are in need. Hi Kenzie, my name is Tara, I'm a senior in high school, I hope you get better, and I'm going to show you my doll back on bars. Reach 
reaching out on blogs and to support organizations is critical for all types of support, financial, social, and emotional. There are starting to be younger and younger groups of women diagnosed with breast cancer. This is a group that has very specific needs. They had goals and aspirations that will just no longer fit into their lives. Kenzie was an architect but could no longer work a standard 40 hour week. Is she retired? Should she be retrained? She wanted a family but could no longer have children. She has terminal cancer. What does this mean at 31? Hi Kenzie, my name is Koda and I'm 16 and I'm a junior in high school. Um, I'm on XL Platinum and I'm going to show you my switch kick on bars. I hope you feel better soon. Hi Kenzie, I'm Lainey, I'm 14 years old, a freshman in high school, and I'm going to do a side gainer off the beam. I hope you get better soon. If you are diagnosed with breast cancer, you need to understand that you have the right to ask questions. Throughout this process, Kenzie and her mom learned that so much is unknown about breast cancer, and the clinical doctor's offices are often years behind research in the field. You need to ask the doctor for your records. Ask a doctor for articles or information about what is being recommended. Get a friend to help you navigate difficult medical decisions. If you cannot talk to your doctor, you should find one that will listen to you. It is your body and you have the right to make knowledgeable decisions. These are some websites that Kenzie recommends. Metaviver, EWG Skin Deep, Breast Cancer Prevention Partners, and breastcancer.org. Mackenzie now has stage four metastatic breast cancer in which the cancerous cells have metastasized to other organs in her body. This can be a particularly cruel and devastating disease when faced by younger women. Over the last nine years, Kenzie has endured countless procedures including chemotherapy, mastectomy, emergency and reconstructive surgeries, lymph node removals, radiation therapy, hormone treatments, and too many more to name. But that did not stop her from graduating from Syracuse University with her landscape architecture degree or from continuing to be the athlete and adventurer that she is. Hi Kenzie, my name is Ava, I'm a level 9 gymnast and a senior in high school. I'm going to do a bail for you. Feel better. In the United States, breast cancer has the highest mortality rate of any cancer in women between the ages of 20 and 59. The American Cancer Society predicts that in 2020, approximately 276,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women and 2,600 will be diagnosed in men. And it is estimated that 42,000 women and 520 men are expected to die this year from breast cancer. Kenzie had her 31st birthday on September 17, 2020, and she continues to fight a cancer that one in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with at some point in their life. We are some of the gymnasts at GCA of Connecticut, and we wanted to take a moment to talk to you about Metaviver. Metaviver exists to sustain hope for those living with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer. They are a volunteer led, nonprofit organization that funds vital research to help improve the longevity and quality of life for MBC patients. They are passionately committed patients themselves who rally public attention to the urgent needs of the MBC community. They help patients find strength through support and purpose and make every dollar count as they are working with researchers to extend and improve quality of life for MBC patients. Metaviver is the only organization in the U.S. that exclusively funds MBC research through a scientific peer review process. They award research grants to individuals with a clinical or other doctoral degree who are actively engaged in areas of metastatic breast cancer research and whose proposals show distinct promise in making a difference in the stage 4 breast cancer community. They bring attention to the specific issues of stage 4 metastatic breast cancer and raise public awareness about the facts of the disease. 
Approximately 268,000 Americans are diagnosed with breast cancer each year, and 30% of people who have been treated for early stage breast cancer eventually develop stage 4 breast cancer. In addition, approximately 6% of first-time breast cancer patients are already stage 4 when first diagnosed. Despite these statistics, only 2-5% to of research dollars are focused on treatments for patients with stage 4 breast cancer. Many stage 4 breast cancer patients lack access to vital health care and treatment information, innovative treatment options, disability benefits, and support groups. This gap in disease information is especially true for those in underserved populations, such as people of color, people of varied ethnic origins, and people who are located in rural areas away from major cancer centers. Medivivor aims to change this. 100% of every donation to Medivivor goes to fund stage 4 metastatic breast cancer research. Stage 4 metastatic breast cancer patients live on average 18 to 36 months after diagnosis. Mackenzie has been fighting breast cancer since 2011 and has been terminal since 2016. On her birthday, September 17, 2020, she entered the hospital with severe pain in her chest. It was her birthday wish that people make a donation to Medivivor. Please join the athletes and coaches of GCA of Connecticut in our efforts to raise money for metastatic breast cancer research. To donate in Kenzie's honor, please visit www.medivivor.org or mail checks to Medivivor 1783 Forest Drive, number 184, Annapolis, Maryland, 21401. Hi Kenzie, my name is Christina and I'm a 15 year old gymnast and I'm going to be showing you my free hip to handstand blindfold double back. I hope you feel better. Hi Kenzie, I'm Angie, I'm 14 years old. I go to Jonathan Law High School and I want to show you my giant giant double back. I hope you feel better soon. Kenzie recently wrote the following poem after experiencing extreme pain in her right eye. It has now been confirmed that the cancer has spread to her eye. February 2nd, 2021. This morning I coughed so hard I nearly threw up. Last night I had excruciating pain in my right eye and now I'm having trouble seeing out of it. No treatment today. Switcheroo scans instead. Need to see what is going on. I'm worried and I'm yearning for more time. I'm grateful because I'm reminded we're all just visiting, that it's a miracle to spend any time in this body. These vessels we are lucky to be guests in. We are many things coexisting, our mind, our body, our soul. I want to coexist a while more. Oh sweet soul, where is it that you need to go? You mustn't go so soon. There's more to be learned, more love, more pain. Love to be surrounded, shared, taught, remembered. Pain to be felt, fought, accepted, embraced. O oh, sweet soul, must pain be your vehicle to learn? Sweet soul, sweet soul, how much pain do you need in order to let go? How much pain do you need to dissolve the ego? Must pain be your means to go higher? O oh, sweet soul, how high have you gone? Come back, come down, come back into this home. O oh, you wild and roaming soul, remembering and reminding us all to find peace in these homes, these beautiful, fleeting, blinking, and breathing homes. What do you want, sweet body? What can I do to soothe your muscles and organs and fluids that flow? What do you want, sweet body? My mind yearns to know. I'm here and within you. Please let me stay for just a while more. Oh, sweet body, I want to feel your supple skin the way it softly drapes over each and every inch, each scar, each roll, each fleshy fold. Oh, sweet body, I want to feel your warm breath as it tickles the throat and sweeps through the lungs. O oh body, my body, I want to feel each and every bone as they stand and they sway like creaky trees, heavy and silent with snow. Each crack, each ache. O oh sweet body, I want to feel each pleasure you grace me with as they meander through tangled and electric nerves. Each pleasure, each pain. Because even your pain is ever so miraculous. O oh sweet body, the sensations you hold. What is it? What is it, sweet body? What can I do to stay a while longer nestled in your cozy home? Hi, Kenzie. 
Hi Kenzie. Hi Kenzie. Hi Kenzie. Hi Kenzie. Hi Kenzie. Hi Kenzie. Hi Kenzie. My name is Adriana. Um, I'm 12, and I'm gonna show you my strap bar giants. I hope you get better soon. Hi Kenzie, it's, it's Adriana again. I want to show you my giants on the real bar now.